I'm Bob Harris for Concrete Network. Maintenance on your polished concrete floor is an important consideration. Although polished concrete is a lower maintenance floor system compared to some alternative floor coverings, there is no such thing as no maintenance. Polished concrete will require some form of maintenance to preserve the gloss and a non-absorbent surface. Whether your polished concrete is in a commercial or residential environment, it is important to keep particulate off of the floor daily if possible, starting with the floor mats both inside and outside the door. It is also a good idea to dust mop the floor on a daily basis, which with this one small step alone can help preserve the floors. In a commercial setting, daily mopping or auto scrubbing the floor is important simply based on the amount of pedestrian traffic the floor receives. Conversely, in residential environments, you may only need to mop on an as-need basis. It is important to always use a clean mop and one that has not been previously soiled. The type of chemicals can have a dramatic impact on the preservation of your polished concrete floors. If the cleaner is too high in alkalinity or is too acidic, this can quickly start to degrade your polished concrete surface. Generally, a pH neutral cleaner is good and there are some cleaner conditioners that actually not only help suspend the particulate but also reintroduce trace amounts of silicate back into the floor during the cleaning process which helps keep a hard wearing glossy surface. Check with your polished concrete professional for what they recommend the best maintenance practices are. In this case, the use of a conditioning cleaning agent in a walk-behind auto scrubber is used, which keeps these floors looking great for years to come. The type of pad or scrubbing bristles is crucial, especially when you consider some floors are being cleaned on a daily basis. Generally, red pads are a good all-purpose cleaning pad since white pads are finer and tend to hold the dirt in the pad. Any more aggressive of a pad than the red is simply too aggressive. Soft bristled brushes like you see here are also considered acceptable. As part of the preservation of polished floors, it is important to get any spills off the surface as quickly as possible. In this case, if the milk sits on the surface for more than 20 to 30 minutes, it will slowly start to etch the concrete. You will notice on certain aisleways in grocery stores, for example, that have exposed concrete, inevitably stains are more noticeable in the aisleways that are acidic such as pickles, salsa, and red wine. In this type of an environment, it is important to have a spill response kit and a cleanup plan in place in the event a spill occurs. Even in a residential setting, the same basic rules apply. Some manufacturers have recommended daily cleaning examples such as the frequency and the type of pads and cleaners to use like seen here. Also an important consideration is the type of system your polished concrete contractor put down. Maintenance pads are not a one size fits all. For example, if a guard system has been applied, 3000 grit diamond impregnated pads are too aggressive and over time will degrade the surface. In this case, a system like you see here would be used, which is a super cleaning pad, which is roughly a 6,000 grit diamond impregnated pad, followed by a super shine pad, which is roughly 10,000 grit. Conversely, if there are no topical treatments that have been previously applied, the use of what is referred to as a DOI pad, distinctness of image, can be used to preserve the gloss and the clarity since there is no film buildup on the surface. It is imperative to check with your polished concrete contractor for their recommended procedures using diamond impregnated pads like seen here. Be very careful on the type of brushes and pads used. Examples like shown here can quickly degloss any polished surface and reopen the pores of the concrete making the floors very vulnerable to contamination, almost like a sponge would absorb. When basic maintenance procedures are followed and the appropriate products are used, you can have a polished surface that will last a lifetime and one to be proud of.